If you found a small bug or are getting some bites, it very well might be lice or bed bugs. These two are sometimes mistaken for each other. We've often found some clients misidentify a louse as a bed bug. More often, body lice are confused with bed bugs due to their behavior of being in your clothing. Lice are small wingless insects that thrive off the blood of mammals. Depending on the species of lice you have, they can either be found in your hair or in your clothing or sometimes in animal fur. On the other hand, bed bugs are small blood feeding wingless insects as well, but they don't live on us like lice. Instead, they live near us. Bed bugs like to hang out in places close to where we sit or sleep, whereas lice will either live in our hair or if it's body lice, they can live within our clothing and sheets and then travel to our skin to bite us. There are many differences between lice and bed bugs. Size and shape are two of the most significant differences. Both body lice and head lice are smaller than adult bed bugs. For this reason, they can be mistaken for baby bed bugs. The average adult bed bug is about 5 to 6.5 millimeters long, and the average louse is between 2 and 3.6 millimeters long. So an adult louse is a similar size to some of the bed bug stages. Here you can see a bed bug next to a coin. The color of these bugs is also different. Bed bugs are generally reddish brown and their eggs are pearly white. On the other hand, lice are usually dark gray, brown, and a little bit reddish sometimes. In comparison, their eggs, otherwise known as nits, are yellow or white, and they're attached to the hair shaft. Now let's talk about the life cycle of bed bugs. Bed bugs hatch from an egg, go through five stages of nymphs, and then reach adulthood. Lice also go from egg, but instead of five stages of nymphs, lice have three stages of nymphs, and then they reach adulthood. One thing they have in common is that both lice and bed bugs need to feed on blood to survive. Neither of these bugs can live without getting a regular blood meal. As far as their lifespan goes, bed bugs live a lot longer than lice. In optimal conditions, a bed bug can live six to 12 months, whereas lice that are on a person's head can live for about 30 days. So if a louse is off a person's head and found in the environment, it will live for four days or less. So how do each of these bugs travel? Well, lice will travel by walking or being carried from place to place. Another difference between bed bugs and lice is that lice have claws. These claws can help them travel and crawl through hair and fur. Also, lice will spread through direct contact with an infected person. You can catch lice from being around someone who has them, especially if you share clothing, sit very close to each other, or lie in the same bed. But lice will only live for one to two days on a mattress with no blood meal, whereas bed bugs can live for many, many months without a blood meal. When bed bugs are not getting regular blood meals, they will stay still and conserve their energy, and they'll also become very, very flat whereas lice will die off. So just remember that bed bugs are able to survive for a long time without a blood meal. Neither of these bugs can jump or fly. Both bugs walk and crawl and can be carried from place to place on our clothing, belongings, or bodies. The treatment for both of these bugs is also very different. For bed bugs, you'll need to treat your entire home, clothing, and you'll be putting everything through the high heat dryer. But head lice treatment involves using special combs for lice to remove the nits and then applying an oil-based treatment to kill them. While treating your hair and clothing, you'll also have to place all of your bed sheets and fabric items into a high heat dryer to kill the eggs. So now you know some of the differences between lice and bed bugs. Bed bug nymphs are what people tend to confuse with lice due to their size. If you think you may have either of these pests, call a professional for help and snap a photo for proper ID. A trained eye will be able to quickly identify which pest is causing your problems and can help guide you in the right direction for getting rid of them for good. Feel free to contact us for advice or help. There's a link in the description to our website contact page, as well as some other helpful articles on our website, drsniffs.com.